So this is going to be a series of short videos tackling some myths about Wagner. This is from one of my favourite books on Wagner. It sounds pretty heavy, Wagner and philosophy, um, but it's well written and I found it pretty easy to follow. The first myth is pretty easy to disprove. Uh, Wagner died in 1883 and the Nazi party wasn't founded until 1920. Well, it's true that Wagner's reputation has suffered because Hitler liked his music. And the Wagner clan didn't really help matters by associating the annual Wagner festival so closely with the Nazis. But this is guilt by association. Um, if Hitler liked uh, furry animals and became a vegetarian late in life, does that also corrupt these ideas as well? Wagner definitely held appalling anti-Semitic views. Um, there's absolutely no excuse for that, and they were disgusting even by the poor standards of the time. But interestingly, uh, many of the foremost interpreters of Wagner's music have been Jewish. Um, and the conductor, Daniel Borenboim, when asked about this, uh, said that there have been millions of anti-Semites in the world, but only one of them composed Tristan and Isolde. And I think that's the key point. The music, in my view, is untainted by his revolting political views. And so if we're open to it, there's a lot to enjoy here. So next week, I'll report on Tosca from the King's Head Theatre, um, and also post some more in this occasional series of myths about Wagner. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Bye.